Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by to look at this project share today. I haven't done a project share video in a while because as soon as I get my projects finished, I just have to hurry up and package them up and send them out. I've been running so late the last couple of weeks, just a lot going on, as many of us have. So I wanted to share this with you so I can get it boxed up and I'm going to the post office. So Crafty Barbie 86, our friend Rose, is having a birthday challenge and so she wanted a flip tag or a 4x6 ATC and I've only made one other flip tag <laughs> and never made a 4x6 ATC. I had these tags that I, I had purchased at Tuesday morning and just had them put away in a drawer and I thought time to break them out and then I just made her another little gifty and I'll show that to you in just a second. Here's the flip tag that I made and she said she wanted minimum of three tags and so that's what I made the minimum <laughs> sorry Rose but then I added other stuff to it so I don't know if the other stuff counts as part of the you know part of the requirement or if it's just like the actual tags that count so I'm not sure anyway Rose is all about glam and pink and um, girly and all of that. So when I had seen this in my stash, this fabulous, I thought, okay, that is going on a tag somehow, some way. And um, so I just decorated it up. I just put these fun little um, jemmies here that I received from Gabby, um, mommy and her four little ladies. We met last weekend for breakfast and she brought me this huge bag of stuff. So I haven't shown that video yet. And that was part of it. The rest of this I just had in my stash and so um, I just die cut this banner to go along with the colors of the papers I was using and then everything else I just put up on pop dots or glued on. As I was going through and just looking for other items to add to the tag I found this card which I thought was pretty so I added that eyelet to it. And then you haven't seen my Daiso haul yet. <laughs> that was from last weekend. And so when I saw this and it said Rose on there and then a high heel and a birthday cake, I thought, oh, I'm supposed to get this for Rose. So it came with a hole at the top already. That made it nice and easy. And I just stuck, stuck that on there. So then I had this purple policy envelope already made and thought, okay, you know what? I have some extra goodies and I won't take them all out, but I have some extra goodies in there that I want to send to Rose. So let me just stick them in there and add that to the tag. And then I just put the eyelet up there on the top and then just added a couple things here for decoration. So this is the second, I guess, official tag that I made. I had this in my stash. I was gifted this from, I believe, Liana at It's a Deal. Um, I like this. It's just like a pre-made shaker. I did this purple doily on the back, put that up on a pop dot there, and then, of course, had to add this. Hey there, Cupcake from Mama Cupcake. And then just added on these little um, jemmies and little cut-out, cut-aparts here. Nice and easy. And then, of course... That sticker sheet with the fabulous, this also came on it, hot stuff. So had to include that, the cheetah print, and then just added that little sticker on there. And then this paper studio paper pad I have. I was turning the pages looking for maybe another sticker to add on someplace else. And I saw these eyelashes and um, so fun, sassy. So I just thought, you know what? I got to add that on for Rose. So I tore that out and added on that. And then this is a little file folder that I got in a pack of like eight or 10. So I just glued it shut. I just like the size of it. Of course, it, that it's black and white or actually black and ivory. So I just decorated it up a little bit, just added some sparkle here. Some more of these little jemmies that I just love. And then just some other little, this is a magnet. I just added that magnet on there. So just added some fun on there. And then this is the last official tag <laughs> that I made. And so, um, and I don't know if I said this already, but the tags were just this brown, what is this craft kind of color. And then I added on the paper and I used Maggie Holmes paper because, um, because I know Rose likes Maggie Holmes line. And I do have a couple of pads that I was gifted. So, um, and I'm not a huge Maggie Holmes fan. So I am most likely will use it for other people and not any crafting for myself, but. And then I added this flag here, again, these jemmies, this tag, and then a couple of the butterflies that I received. 
and then this dreamer here and then there's a I don't know if you can really see it but there's like a lace here that's just a, a glue on adhesive lace and then there's a banner in the back you may or may not know but I do not know how to make tassels <laughs> that's not on my uh, knowledge list at the moment so I just got a whole bunch of fun ribbon and I just put that in there so there's the flip tag that I'll send her and I don't know it's my second one I've made and I don't know I hope it's okay <laughs> and then I love making these little flat mail um, envelopes so I made this one for her I just tied it up with this um, eyelet trim eyelet trim eyelet no eyelash trim so I tied it up with this eyelash trim and then it looks like this on the inside I just went ahead and put some cut aparts in there for her and then I have some small tags in here in this pocket in this pocket what do I have in there? Some cut aparts? Yeah, I just have oops. I just have some more cut aparts in there. And then put rows here. And then I love this. I always like to make this little pull-out tag that then you can put a couple of other little goodies in there and then stick that right back in there. And of course, I then I put a little eyelet on there with a little bit of um, ribbon. So I'll fix that all back up like I had it. And then I have some goodies over there that I will also add to the package. Hopefully Rose will have fun celebrating her birthday. Okay guys, thanks for stopping by and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.